Hi, it's Mark for Ableton Daily. Removing unused files for your projects inside Ableton Live. Let's just say that you have just finished a project or a song and you want to remove all the unused recordings, samples, freeze files, and other miscellaneous audio files to reduce the size of the project just so it uses less hard drive space. There's an easy way to do this inside Live. First, open up your project and then just come right up here to the file menu and then select manage files. And another little window will pop out on the right. And right down here, this second one here that says manage project, go ahead and click on that. And Live will scan the entire project and in some cases it could take a little while. And the results, it shows my project contents here and some other information. I have uh, external files. I can locate other different uh, missing files if there is any missing files, but it says there's none at this time. Uh, but right down here, the most important one is the unused files. And look at this. I have 17 files in this project taking up a total of 660 megabytes. So that would overall make the project folder a lot smaller and conserve more hard drive space if I just go in there and delete those files. And it says they're not being used by any live sets, live clips, or presets. And so if you want to locate these files, just right down here, it tells you that I have one recording that is not being used. So I can just click on show and then it will display that file that is not being used over in the file browser. And let's come over here, down here where it says freeze sample. It says I have a free sample that is not being used. And the free sample, what it is, is actually called a freeze file. This is a file that Live creates when we are freezing tracks to conserve computer processing power. And I talked about this on the last video tutorial about freezing tracks inside Ableton Live. Well, when you do this, Live creates a freeze file, and so it's just letting you know that you do have one freeze file that is not being used. And I'll click on Show, and there it is. And it's just titled with the freeze just in front and the audio name. And right down here, we have four consolidated samples. I'll click right here. This will show the four consolidated samples. Consolidated samples meaning that if you have two clips inside Live that you have merged together, creating one clip, well, Live creates a file on your hard drive when you merge or consolidate these two clips together. And if you don't use that clip, then it will store that information here. Or it will also store the consolidated samples that were not used during the merge. If you want to locate those and view these files or samples, just click on Show. And the big one here at the very bottom, just some other miscellaneous files that I have on my project for some reason. Well, this is really good to know because this is taking up most of the space for my project. And it's over 500 megabytes, so that's quite a lot. It's almost half a gig. So I'll click on Show, and that will display all the files. And if you press the Delete key on your keyboard, see, if you right-click, you're not going to find the uh, Delete button or the uh, Delete selection in this menu here. But here's a little trick. If you press delete on the keyboard, then it will allow you to put it in the trash. So how cool is that? And we're all doing this within Live's browser. So we don't have to open up any of the finder windows or go through the desktop in our computer operating system and delete the files. Everything can be done from right here. So that's really nice. I'll go ahead and click cancel for now. And I can just minimize this. And if I want to close out this window here, I can just go ahead and click on this little X here and that will make that go away. And I can close this out. And there we go. So there are some ways we can delete unused files inside of our projects to conserve hard drive space. And just to do a little bit of house cleaning, just to clean things up a little bit, and it makes it also easier to move your projects around to different computers and put them on USB sticks and memory cards and stuff. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. My name's Mark for Ableton Daily. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. And uh, let me know how you like it. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Take care.